Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to do the cuboid dorsal glide. For this technique, what we're going to be able to do is take the cuboid and push it dorsally. It looks like this. So if I have his leg like this, if I turn his leg in, it lines the joint up right here. If I keep it up and down, then I hit the joint will hit against itself. If I turn his leg in, I'll line the joint up more correctly, be able to do that glide. My other hand is going to take the dorsal lateral part of the calcaneus, stabilize it. This hand would come either my thumb and push it into that direction, or I could use my thinner eminence to push forward. Okay, so here's how it looks. So the key is again, is we want to take the leg, we want to turn his leg into internal rotation. I picked the least flexible patient. Nice job, Antonio. Then my, this hand goes onto the calcaneus, the lateral side. I stabilize it. This hand can go right onto the cuboid from the bottom. So here's the fifth mat. Fifth mat. Behind that's the cuboid. And I can come into the cuboid, keep the leg turned in. Now the joint line, I can push straight that way. And I'll get that glide. Sometimes it doesn't feel that comfortable. So I could also take my thinner eminence, put it on that spot, turn his leg in, take up the slack, a little bit of traction, and then do that glide into a dorsal glide of the, calcane, of the um, cuboid. Okay, so the key points here, patient's prone, leg is internally rotated, stabilize the calcaneus, mobilize the cuboid into a dorsal glide. Okay, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.